guys and welcome back to Jody Lewis Creations. In today's video I am going to attempt to marble some paper using some Dollar Tree shaving cream. I just have varying weights of paper. I have 32, 60, and I think 80. I have an old cookie sheet and in here I just have some various um, apple barrel paint, uh, some folk art paint, and um, yeah some old, old, old paint. Like some of this I think I've had longer than the sun. So anyway, I'm going to spread a layer of the shaving cream down, get it smoothed out, and then I will drizzle some color. I have bright reds and I have the deeper reds. Um, the cream I think I'll do with the deeper colors and the white, and then maybe some black just for some added dimension. I've never done this before. Um, so I'm just gonna work on this and I'll come back in just a minute and show you what it looks like. And then we'll put a piece of paper in. I don't have my holder down here. I am in the kitchen. There's a lot of background noise because uh, Mark is working in the attic and he's just got saws and drills and all kinds of stuff going. So um, yeah, so I'm just gonna make, um, my goal is to try to make nine to 15 sheets. So we'll see how this goes. So I have a layer down of shaving cream. It's not very thick, but it's big enough that I think my paper will fit and cover. And, um, oops, I just drug that right through there. I have my card off to the side here. It's just a library card that I've just kind of smoothed this down, okay? It's, like I said, it's not very thick. I don't know how thick it should be. I did watch um, a Nina Ribina um, video and that's where I, and it's an old video, so I will try to remember to link that below. You guys know I'm terrible about that. So if I don't link it, please make sure you let me know. Um, but this is kind of the gist of it. I do have two different oops, sizes of a paintbrush here. The tips, so um, get on screen here. I'm holding my phone, so it's very awkward. Um, two different size tips to try to make different uh, size swirls in my um, paint. So let's do bright red first. Try not to shake you too hard. Get the crusty tip off of your paint because you know you don't want big chunks in your marbling, I think. And um, let's see. Hopefully I have enough to get at least a couple uh, sheets out of the red. And the th thing about doing red and, oops, green together is you got to be careful because red and green will make brown and we don't want brown that's for sure so just adding a little bit like this Oop, I got a big glob this is really old paint all right so I'm just gonna take my um, my um, paintbrush and just swirl this back and forth hopefully I'm not making you sick because I know I'm moving my hand at the same time that I'm moving <laughs> paintbrush okay just obviously I'm working on some Christmas colors this is going to be part of the Christmas in July project um, and I think we'll just continue to oops sorry um, swirl this until we're happy with how our swirls look oh I think I'm gonna like this I'm thinking I'm gonna wish I'd put some metallic in this one it's all right it's all experiment. experiment. I've never done this before, so it's like I definitely got more red than green, and that's okay. This reminds me of uh, Christmas candy, so isn't that fun? Okay, so mm, I don't want to mix it too much. I guess I'm afraid of making mud. I don't want muddy paper. Mm, hope it's going still. Okay, so there's that. So I'm going to set my paintbrush just off to the side here. Look, it even looks like um, candy, swirl candy on them. I love it. Oh, maybe I should just have an extra piece over here to the side. Let's see what happens. I have no idea what I'm doing. Ooh, but, okay, so it kind of made mud, but we'll see. Okay, so take my piece of paper. And I'm gonna lay it on here. And I'm just gonna gently rub to make sure I've got contact with all the surfaces. Okay. And then, 
Hopefully we're getting some paint pickup on that. Gentle, gentle, gentle. Okay. And then let's peel it up. Uh-oh, I didn't get contact in the middle. Okay, peel that up. Set it over here. I am on the kitchen counter, so I'm trying to be very, very careful. Okay, so there is that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my library card and I'm going to scrape off that excess. Um, so, but I can't do that and hold my phone. So let me get that scraped off and I'll come right back. I am so, so excited about the color of this. Now I did, it did, I did make some brown in it, but that's okay. I, I'm not unhappy with it. I think it's really neat. It's very cool. Um, I was trying to be careful and wipe my card in between swipes just to kind of avoid that making mud. Um, so I have, this is what's left on my uh, shaving cream. So I'm going to try to pull another one without, without touching it with any more paint and see what happens. Don't, this, I touched this one to the top of that first one to think, oh, maybe I can get some transfer, but it did kind of make a mess. So I don't think I would do that again with these particular colors. If I'm, if I'm in the same color family, yes, because it's not gonna make mud, but red and brown are um, not, they are, you just don't wanna do that together. I'm so sorry. I know this filming is a little hard, but you guys know if you've been following me when I'm working in the kitchen, I don't really have a good place to put my phone holder. So we kind of get what we get. Okay, so let's, so there's that one. And I'll scrape it and come back. Okay, so here's the second pool. And here's the first pool. So I'm going to um, work on that and um, probably add a little bit more color to it, but not too, too much because again, they're opposing colors. Uh, what I may end up doing is just adding a little bit of gold and just gently adding to it. I don't know because I know that's going to make a brown when I mix it all together. Um, so this is kind of an example of it mixing. And I should have a separate container where I'm scraping my excess bits, but um, because this is just a, a junky uh, cookie sheet, I'm not too worried about it, and I know it will wash off, um, so I'm not too worried about it. But do be mindful of your workspace and where you're scraping off your extra shaving cream. So I took my my card and I smoothed out what we had left over, right? It, it, this is messy, just so you know. It's super messy. Um, I took my bright green and then I took my white and now let's just kind of swirl and see what happens here. Hopefully that green's gonna be kind of a, a, a predominant color for us. I don't know, this one might be a failure, but you know, we don't know if we don't try, but I do understand the color wheel and I understand what I'm doing. And I knew it was gonna turn brown when I did it, so. You know, it was a chance I was willing to take just based on trying to get the red and green. <laughs> Look at that. So much fun. The red and green together. Um, so, yeah. But, again, just something to be mindful of and be aware of. Um, because, I mean, honestly, the, I'm using very old paint. But the paint, I mean, all of our art supplies are expensive and getting increasingly more expensive. So... Do be mindful of that when you're messing around. But again, it's a play and we don't ever learn if we don't try these things. And I, this is something I've been wanting to do for a really, really long time. And I thought, you know what? I haven't done this before and it's time for Christmas in July. So why not give it a try and see what we get out of this experiment, right? And I mean, it seems simple enough, but you know, we'll see what happens. Okay, so I'm going to... And I'm trying to get pieces that I can actually use as pages in the journal, so we'll see how this works out. All right, so green going down, 
Let me get it down and smooth and scraped and we'll come back and see if it pulled brown. Well, I meant to show you my tray before I washed it, but I was on the phone and just washed it. But anyway, so um, this was the final pull from, I added a little bit more red and from this one to this one and I absolutely love, love, love it. Um, they're still drying. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to set these out on my porch so that they can dry And then I'm gonna transition to the darker colors and see what we can get and I really have to say that I am loving this process I'm a hot mess. I mean my hands are so messy <laughs> But I mean it's part of it. I could wear gloves, but who wants to wear gloves when you feel like getting into a painty messy mess So I'm gonna dry off my tray set these outside Get another coat on, start with the darker colors, and then I'll come back and, um, and go over it. And then some tips and tricks that I'm figuring out as I'm going along. Okay, so I'll try to get closer here. And you can see, like, where's my finger? All around the edge here is where I've been scraping off my card. So my library card, I killed it. Like, the plastic was peeling. It wasn't, it was not a great tool for this. I'm gonna try to pick up one more print from this and then um, I'm done. But I mean, you can see, you get really cool streaks and stuff on the edge here. So I don't know if I had like a different way to maybe spread that on a different sheet of paper or something, if I would get a really cool result because I mean, that's a lot of paint in there. However, that's part of working with um, lesser costing paint rather than artist quality you know these are what 50 cents a bottle at walmart or 60 cents now except for my gold but again you guys know i don't i didn't pay full price for that gold i got it on sale um so just know that that's part of the thing with with using a lesser uh expensive paint plus i think that the fluid aspect of this allows it to uh, marble better. Um, and maybe a liquid ink or a, a, you know fluid paint, something like that might be really cool as well. But again, it's, it's cost-based. You don't wanna spend a lot of money on the paint that you're marbling with. So I'm gonna get this cleaned up and then I will come back and show you the end results and tell you some tips and tricks I think that would give a better end result and um, just some ideas I had along the way. Okay, so I'm done, and I just wanted to share with you the final result and some thoughts I had. So on some of these, you'll be able to see exactly where my card was when I was scraping the excess off. So if you have a shower squeegee that's bigger or wider for your paper, I strongly encourage you to do that. I have one, but I didn't think Mark would appreciate it very much if I took it out of the shower to use it. So. Um, a wider squeegee and I didn't think until just now even maybe your plastic ruler if, as long as you get firm straight pressure on it to take it all off in one swipe try that if you don't have that option and you're using a card you know like I did make sure that you're scraping wipe it completely off get it all clean including your corners because that's gonna help minimize those lines for your card so that's tip number one Tip number two is I used a cookie sheet and I think I probably would have had better result if I would have used a smaller, like a, a nine by 13 baking dish because I was trying, well, part of it is because I was trying to be very frugal with my shaving cream. I only had the one um, small cam. So I was just trying to be frugal. But I think that if I used the nine by 13 and I was just really working in a color family, versus trying to use opposing colors, I probably would have been okay um, to get further with my shaving cream than I did. I hope that makes sense. If I'm not saying that well, please, please let me know. So, you know, we started with the bright colors and I'm just gonna flip through these. And um, I do love the detail in some of them. Some of them I'm not super happy with. Like, I feel like this is a hot mess. However, if I cut this down into a tag, then it's not such a hot mess. Then I've got something that I can work with as a base and collage, whatever. Um, again, I like that. It doesn't have very much red left in it. It's mostly green, but I kind of like how it looks. Um, and I think it's fun. Um, well, how is that? 
Oh, that's the one that I smushed. I don't recommend smushing. Um, oh, I guess it's pre it's preference. Again, if you're working in a color family that's going to blend well, smushing is fine. Um, so here I added black, and I like this one. I think it's really a cool print. However, you'll see in some other ones that I'm like, mm, maybe I shouldn't have added black. So I love this one. I absolutely love this one. I don't know that this says Christmas to me, but it is so spectacular. I love, cause I did black and white with the green and there is a little bit of red in the background over here. So I think that's really cool. Um, anyway, and then this one was just a real quick, I was trying to show Mark, but, and I, I was gonna go back over it again, but he was trying to get back upstairs to work. So I just went ahead and pulled the print. Um, without going another direction again. And I don't know if the sparkle is gonna come through in that or not from the gold, but I do think that's a very pretty print. Um, however, I prefer this one. But I did notice that this, you'll see as we go through these reds, like the, here you can really see like the burgundy color. They're gonna get pink as we go. So, um, but I think that's really pretty. This red is not gonna work. Maybe this one will work for my pages that I'm going to use, but definitely not some of these subsequent ones because they're just too cranberry looking. Um, but I mean, again, I can see the gold shimmer in there. I don't know if that's going to come through on camera or not. Um, this I added the black in and I think this is a really spectacular print. I love this one. Okay. Um, and even this one's kind of cool looking. It's, it's kind of watercolor to me, I don't know. But you can see where this is white like this is where I was being really um, frugal with my shaving cream. It was getting thin. So as I was doing my paintbrush, um, it was going through the shaving cream. And so there was actually just no shaving cream there for it to pick up, which brings me a tip about the paintbrush. So I had the two different size tips on it. And I preferred the more narrow one versus the wider one because I felt like this gave me more detail where I was dragging it versus the big one. So the big one I used on this one. And while it looks cool, I prefer the detail of the uh, smaller brush. So I don't, hopefully you can kind of see the difference there. It's afternoon and I've got sun shining in my window so hopefully the lighting is okay for you guys to see these prints but um, I did prefer this and I probably would even use a skewer or, or find a smaller paintbrush to use or a toothpick I mean you could use a toothpick so anyway again not very Christmassy but I like that but you can see the smear of the black you know my black was smearing but that's okay I don't mind that for me um, and I'm not necessarily like I don't think this is going to match with the Christmas stuff, but I've got some cool prints here to play with. So I love this one. And again, the scraping, you can see exactly what my card width was. So I'm going to say it again. If you can use a shower squeegee, I would use a shower squeegee. I wish I would have, I wish I would have thought to try the ruler because it truly didn't occur to me until I started talking. So this one is really cool and I don't mind the smears in this but gosh I love the vibrancy and the detail in this it's so pretty so definitely we're going to use this somewhere in the journal and then this was just to kind of try to pick up the print pick up paint you know and it again it's got kind of a watercolor effect to it so I like it um this one you can really see the gold on the edge here so that's a really pretty piece I like that this is I this is one I added the black to and I'm like do I like it I am still not sure that I like it however if I look at it just in sections I'm like okay that would make a really cool card you know so it's just it's what speaks to you and the preferences that speak to you and this was just I was trying to save the shaving cream and it just made a hot mess but if I look at it again in smaller bits or even in collage it, you know, it's not a waste. You know, I could always even stencil in white paint over that. It might be really neat. So those are the pages that we have. If you have any questions about the process, please let me know. I do hope you'll get your stuff out and play. I was like really giddy, like a little kid doing this because every single piece was surprising when I scraped it. So you really didn't know what you were going to get. So that was a lot of fun and definitely will not be the last time that I do this. So thank you for joining me. Have a great day. Bye.